Hey, Uncle Phil, what's hey. up, man? <laughs> hey, what you looking at? Just some pictures of me and Janice Robertson from back in the day. Ah, here we are on campus running from the National Guard. <laughs> man, she is fine. <laughs> well, tell me about it. And, um, you sure that Aunt Viv is cool with your ex-girlfriend coming to visit, huh? Oh, well, uh, actually, Janice was never officially my girlfriend. Not that I didn't try. Man, oh, man, did I try. <laughs> Flowers, poems, dinners. I must have sprung for over 50 of them. <laughs> well, maybe it would have worked if you had taken her, too. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a little collegiate humor, you know? Oh, God. You know what it's like to really go after a woman and never get her? No. <laughs> well, finally, after two years, I realized that Janice wasn't going to have me, so I settled for Vivian. Sweetheart, that came out wrong. Honey, honey, baby. <laughs> Jeffrey, prepare Mr. Banks' couch. So what time is Dad's old flame supposed to be here? Carlton, she's not Daddy's old flame. They weren't even intimate. <laughs> Uncle Phil discussed that with you? No, I heard him say it in the hall after Mom slammed the door in his face. Jeffrey, where's my purple tie? It's in your tie drawer next to the Pringles. <laughs> At least that's better than the Kit Kat he keep with his drawers. I have the greatest news. You know Al Riggins, the talk show host? Yeah. Well, he's in a coma, and they want me to test as his replacement. <laughs> my horoscope was right. This is my lucky day. <laughs> Hillary, aren't you even a little concerned? Oh, I'm plenty concerned. My competition is anchorwoman Mara Lopez. And you know how they favor those minority people. <laughs> Maybe science can just come get her brain now. Ashley, I need your help in the kitchen. And Jeffrey, will you please set an extra place at the table? Mr. Banks' friend is bringing her daughter. Uh, Aunt Viv, uh, just curious. Um, would this daughter be more of a playmate for, for baby Nikki, Ashley, or, or none of the above? She's 18. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> hey, G, I gotta tell you, man, if this girl is built anything like her mother, I might have to check the premises, you know what I'm saying? I might have to go see what the foundation is like, you know what I'm saying? Hold your permit, mister. What makes you think the daughter's gonna opt for you when she can have me? <laughs> well, number one, because I don't be saying stuff like opt. Yeah. <laughs> number two, because Jeffrey still has to cut up your food. Well, this hundred dollars says that she goes out with me first. Okay. Here's 50 and another 50. You're on, and may the best man win. Me. <laughs> uh, might I get in on this? <laughs> Sure things don't come along every day. <laughs> On Master William. Well, why would you pick him? Uh, with all due respect, young sir, I've seen you in action with women, and quite frankly, you're an idiot. <laughs> Fine. I got you both covered. So, how do I look? Like a man asking for trouble. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Vivian and I had a long talk about this yesterday. She is perfectly secure with Janice's coming to visit. Oh, so, uh, what happened to your nose, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, this? this? Oh, 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 but this? Well, I, 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 I cut myself shaving. Oh, you were shaving your nose. Okay. <laughs> no, was that before or after you poured that bucket of cologne on your head? <laughs> you are reading way too much into this, Will. This is just a little dinner with an old friend. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's her. <laughs> Mrs. Robertson and her daughter, Wendy. 